A program at SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital takes donated wedding dresses and repurposes them into bereavement gowns for babies. Grace Hodak speaks to one woman about her decision to donate to the cause and has you covered on why it's so meaningful to her. A wedding dress once worn by Beth Pankey will now be worn by someone else. A wedding dress has a lot of meaning for a person and then for me, it even meant more to be able to help somebody else. A program at St. Mary's Hospital takes donated dresses and turns them into infant burial gowns. When Panky found out about it, her decision was simple. She knew she had to donate her wedding dress. The interesting thing was is I had a situation where I had to deliver a stillborn. So I took the dress and I put it in my trunk and here we are. That experience has never left her. But now, just like her dress, it's stitching a new meaning. Of course, it's in the back of my mind, um, but I do understand what people that are going through it right now are going through. Volunteers tell me many donors have similar experiences. They will oftentimes share their story um, about a loss that they had as a child or a relative, and so it's very meaningful for them to be able to um, give back to those who have had the same type of experience. And for the receiving families, it brings a comforting memory of their own loss. So much appreciated um, by our patients' families who receive these gowns. Um, it's a nice, you know, momentum for them to keep, um, to remind them of their, their infant. There are a lot of people out there that have gone through the same thing, um, and time is the only thing that'll heal it. Because by helping others, Panky says she's helping herself, too. In since the program started three years ago, volunteers have stitched more than 50 gowns. If you're interested in donating a wedding dress, there's more information on how to do that on our website, wkow.com.